what are we doing today? We're painting the roof. Last week we applied the anti-skid on the salon roof, we rolled on a thick primer with a textured roller and then sprinkled a non-skid aggregate. Now it's time for top coat, which will be sprayed by Chris, our professional painter, and then we'll get to see Vilda with the final roof color. How exciting! So, hello everybody! <laughs> what are we doing today? We're painting the roof. Again! <laughs> this time top coat though. Top coat, yeah. And like any big paint day, it requires a lot of preparation. Most of the time before painting is actually spent on cleaning, marking areas that need to be protected, applying paper or tape or plastic to cover and protect what shouldn't be painted. In this case, we had to protect the hulls from overspray, we had to mask the side windows and also cover the front windows but allow stepping inside of them in order to have access to the roof. We actually lost track of the number of masking tape rolls that we used. And these big forward hatches have that fantastic angle and tiny space to work in. Now it's just masking, so not too bad. But remember those sanding days? Let's just say that I'm really looking forward to the day when all I have to do is to simply decorate it with a beautiful bamboo storage basket and some herbs and plants next to them. Then we had to clean thoroughly the surface with a non-skid in order to remove any excess particles that could fly onto the top coat later. So yeah, there's a bit of work before getting to the fun part. So here's another last close look at Vilda's roof before we start spraying the top coat. Not sure how surprising this is going to be for you, but we didn't want to have a white boat, just a simple white boat. So we decided to go with a pastel grey color, which we think looks pretty dang good. And in an upcoming episode, you are going to see more of Vilda's color. But in the meantime, let's just enjoy this beauty. 
And when I say that, I am referring mostly to the salon roof color and not necessarily to the color of Axel's underwear. For the salon roof, we applied a total of two coats. We took 20 minute break in between Spain painting sessions to give some time for the paint to become a bit tacky and to ensure a good coverage. As you can see, there was always another person on deck to assist Chris with holding the hose to avoid getting any marks on the freshly painted areas. And of course, we will get the deck spray painted on a different painting session. Hello. <laughs> we are here to talk about Sandy. today's problem. No, not Sandy. No. No, today's problem is actually that. Uh, Me? Not you. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Here. Uh, the, that window one. Yes, frames. The window frames and the corners and trying to make them fit. Yeah. So, so. we have here, there, in that corner. Those are the window frames that... Oh, well done, you got them. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the window frames that... Um, Go somebody, in the cutouts. Yes, and we have a contractor, somebody who is a window maker, who is helping us making the windows. Yes. yes. So he's made four... Uh, no, sorry, five window frames for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, one out of the five uh, fit. To start with. Without any adjustment, and yeah. that's the right, the one here behind me, the very rectangular the one. one. That uh, so square is easy apparently, and yes. uh, that works. <laughs> the others are difficult, and my the cutouts are not perfect, so it's not super yes. easy to to make uh, these windows and make them fit the first time. It's all handmade, measured by yeah. hand, and yeah. And so are the windows going yes. in, so or window frames, and so, uh, so we've been sanding all day, mm -hmm, trying to get them to fit, and, and now they do. Well, now no. they do. <laughs> Tomorrow we have to sand some more, and then they will fit. Now for the triangular windows that are located on the sides there, 
it was a little bit more tricky to have those very specific that corners um, fit properly. We can just go here and show. So here. So we've got the, this corner, mm -hmm. very tight radius. Mm -hmm. And then you have a, a, a slight bend here. Mm -hmm. And then you have another tight corner. Yeah. And bending that in all sorts of bending machines is uh, not super easy. Yeah, so that's it. So they were a little bit more off than the other one. Yeah. So now we fill those corners and we are hoping that tomorrow when we remove the tapes and the plastic and all those bits, <laughs> we can hopefully Just sand, sand a little bit. bit, not too much. And then we fit can like fit the frames, Yeah. hopefully. And once that's done, we send the frames back to the manufacturer and he'll uh, have them uh, cleaned up, powder coated, uh, put the glass in, or actually uh, acrylic, mm -hmm. and uh, send them back to us, or get them back to us and install. Yes. But the installation, of course, has to paint. Yeah. So after we send off this blue, we have to put some primer on, right? Yeah. Probably and then, sand that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then top coat. Yeah. When we do the cockpit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan. <laughs> yeah. And they'll, they actually look nice. We could possibly show what the... The frames? The center one. Yeah. Because I haven't put any that. epoxy there. Okay, so let's see. So this is How does the magic happen? The center one will look like. That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they will... And I like that the, the border is narrow. Mm -hmm. And because the border is narrow, uh, this frame can be bent at a tighter radius. Mm -hmm. Sadly, I can't get that for the door. Uh, but that's another story that's that another we will story. share another yeah. time. And now, yeah. in regards to the window, we will have um, uh, the window opening or sliding up and down. That's why we have that middle frame there. And yeah. we're also going to have a, a mosquito net. Yes. Which is very good because they all come to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I will have three opening windows. Mm -hmm. uh, four, sorry. Well, th three windows opening, then the door, and the, the two really triangular ones will just be fixed. Yeah. So, yeah.
So, unfortunately, this episode has come to an end. But don't worry, we have more boat progress and fun next Sunday. If you enjoy watching these videos, we're happy to see a like and a comment from you. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thank you!